Well, the NFL was found guilty in the lawsuit, the class action lawsuit against them about the NFL Sunday ticket. We're going to talk about that in today's video. And welcome back to the channel here. My name is Greg. I am your host, and this is the Washington Football Maniacs. This channel, of course, is dedicated to news and commentary for the Washington Commanders. And if you're down with that, please make sure that you have subscribed to this channel. When you do also, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any other video releases. Hey, before we get into this video, I want to talk a little bit about saving you some money. My partners here at Mint Mobile, they want to save you some money because they realize times are tough. If any of you out there are like me, you know that you have to follow a very strict budget each month. You want to be able to sit back, watch Netflix, or you want to be able to go out to dinner every now and then, but you just feel like you can't really do any of that stuff because you're so busy trying to stretch that dollar. Well, my partner here at Mint Mobile, they want to help you with that. They want to save you a lot of money and give you the same service, the same quality service as what you get from big cell phone companies. That's why I am so intrigued by Mint Mobile, who this video is in partnership with. They offer premium quality cell phone coverage for as low as $15 a month. I could get all of the high speed data, the unlimited data, unlimited talk and text, all of that stuff for a fraction of the cost. And let me tell you, it was so easy getting started. I was able to switch over my phone to Mint Mobile service in less than 15 minutes. How did I do it? I simply, I used their eSIM card and that allowed me to get up and running in no time. But never fear for those of you who have a phone that don't come with any of those eSIM doohickeys, just get in touch with Mint Mobile and they'll send you a SIM card, a physical SIM card for absolutely free. There absolutely is no sacrifice to switch into Mint Mobile. In fact, you're probably sacrificing more if you don't. Switch to Mint Mobile today. The link is down in the description below. It is trymintmobile.com slash maniacs. Get started today on saving a ton of money. Now that said, let's get back to this wonderful video. I know a lot of you have purchased NFL Sunday ticket in the past, or maybe you're still a uh, customer of NFL Sunday Ticket. Of course, you know, NFL Sunday Ticket was owned by uh, DirecTV for all of these years. And then last year, of course, was the first year that YouTube TV was going to take over NFL Sunday Ticket. Well, it all started back about 2015, 2016, when a local bar decided that they wanted to sue the NFL over the Sunday Ticket. And it finally came to fruition this year. And so much so that a jury actually feels like the NFL violated antitrust laws. Uh, so in, in Los Angeles, a jury in the U.S. District Court ordered the NFL to pay more than $4.7 billion in damages Thursday after ruling that the league violated antitrust laws and distributing out-of-market Sunday afternoon games on the premium subscription service. The jury awarded $4.7 billion in damages to the residential class and $96 million in damages to the commercial class. Since damages can be tripled under federal antitrust laws, the NFL could end up being liable for over $14 billion. Wow. Wow. Um, the lawsuit covered 2.4 million residential services and 48,000 businesses in the United States who paid for the package out of market games from 2011 through 2022 seasons on direct TV. And of course, yours truly has purchased it during that time as well. The lawsuit claimed that the leak broke antitrust laws by selling its package of Sunday games at an inflated price. The subscribers also say that the league restricted competition by offering Sunday ticket only on the satellite provider. The NFL said in a statement that it will appeal the verdict. We are very disappointed with the jury's verdict today in the NFL Sunday ticket class action lawsuit. Um, we continue to believe that our media distribution strategy, which features all NFL games broadcast over free over the air television and the markets of the participating teams and national distribution of our most popular games supplemented by many additional choices including red zone sunday ticket and nfl plus is by far the most of fan friendly distribution model in all sports and entertainment 
Uh, we will certainly contest the decisions we believe that the class action claims in the case are baseless and without merit. We thank the jury for their time, the services, for the guidance, and the oversight from the judge uh, throughout this trial. So you can read the rest of this going to ESPN.com and um, please read this article. But, you know, just to, to kind of touch on this, um, for a lot of you, uh, and myself included, I mean, we spend a lot of money on NFL Sunday Ticket, especially with DirecTV. And now a lot of times, a DirecTV will, you know, if you're a new customer, they would throw in NFL Sunday Ticket for free for that first year. But after that, then, I mean, it was ridiculous. Uh, you, you know, NFL Sunday Ticket was way over 300 some dollars. And the fact that DirecTV was the only place where you can get NFL Sunday Ticket, I thought was also kind of ridiculous. Uh, because not everybody, for one thing, DirecTV wasn't offered in a lot of locations. And number two, uh, people didn't want to have to be tied down to a satellite provider to be able to watch their favorite team play. And, uh, you know, I think that's the reason why that you started seeing a lot of um, you know, rogue pirated games being streamed online and things like that is because, you know, people have finally got fed up with it. You know, people are willing to purchase their teams. And, and that's the thing that I've always said before, and that's what I was hoping was going to happen when NFL Sunday Ticket left DirecTV, uh, was being able to maybe purchase your own uh, team's games, not have to worry about purchasing the entire package. Because, I mean, let's face it, you're not going to watch those other games. You're only going to watch, for the most part, you're probably only going to watch those games that, um, you know, are, are featuring your favorite team. Now, you may put on Red Zone if you have it and watch Red Zone for the other team's games, which is actually, that I think is a very genius move. I've always loved uh, the Red Zone because it's like continuous action, right? I mean, you're, you're basically getting to see all of the, the best plays and the drives and the scores and, and whatnot. So, you know, outside of watching my favorite team play, I would maybe watch the red zone uh, for the rest of it. But after a while, you know, paying over 300 and some dollars, I think with, with YouTube, uh, unless that you already have YouTube TV, you're having to pay about $360 or something like that for NFL Sunday ticket. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous. Um, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. I think a lot of us feel like that we would be more than willing to pay 70 maybe even $100 to just watch our own teams. And um, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Um, now, will I try to get my little portion probably wind up being, what, like $0.25? Cents? Um, I, I know that some people have said that it may wind up being about basically the cost of a season of, of buying the NFL ticket. Now, you know what? I'll take that that because that's that's over three hundred some dollars that could go back in my pocket. So, um, my goodness, I, I would pay, I would take that. But um, the NFL, I mean, they're they're huge. They're a huge organization, right? They got a lot of power, and I think this initial ruling, of course, they're going to appeal it, and who knows what's going to happen after that? But I would really like for the NFL to really open their eyes with this because um, fans want choice. And the thing is, is that fans will keep pushing back. Um, I don't think that this would be the only time you ever see, you know, something like a lawsuit or whatever happening because of this. So I, I wish the NFL would wake up and realize that, yes, that, you know, they're making billions upon billions of dollars with this. But at the same time, I think you could also pick up a lot more money by lowering the price, giving people the choice. Number one, don't have it on just one streaming um, outfit or one satellite outfit. Offer it straight from the NFL themselves. And, you know, pricing it per team you know, 
seventy dollars, hundred dollars. I'm willing to pay a hundred bucks just to watch my team and not have to worry about um, you know having to spend three hundred, four hundred dollars or whatever. Um, you know, on a bunch of other games that I'm probably not going to watch. That probably would rather just you know see the rest of them on on Red Zone. So NFL, please wake up and understand that you know a lot of us right now especially in this economy we just don't have that type of money but we love the nfl we want to be able to keep watching our our teams play Um, but i think you need to give us choices and you need to make it a little bit more economically sound for your customers and i've always went by the the feeling that You know, if you make it to where it's a little bit more affordable, you're going to wind up making more money in the long run because you're going to have a lot more people willing to put down the money for it. Uh, Whereas right now, yeah, yeah, you got you got some who are paying it, but then you got a lot who are pirating those streams and sharing them out with anybody else. So it's no telling how much more the NFL has probably lost in revenue because of that, but. I think the majority of folks would be more than willing to pay a much more um, budget-friendly cost and, you know, and just give us the choice of just our own team, okay? That's all we ask for. I don't think that's a whole lot to ask for. Folks, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like, give it a share, and with that said, I will see you in the next one. (laughs)